Hi everybody, it's Michael. I promised you two episodes this month, and since Burns Night is coming up, I thought you might enjoy this. It's a wee production of Tam O'Shanter that myself and my pal Mitch Bain have put together. Mitch has scored this episode, and he'll be scoring all the episodes of Scotland from now on, which is really cool. I hope you'll enjoy this wee tale of geists and ghouls. Keep your eyes in the feed for another episode this month, which is a wee bit more romantic. When Chapman Billy's leave the street, and Druthy neighbours neighbours meet, as market days are wearing late and folk begin to tack the gate, while we sit boozing at the nappy, and getting foo and unca happy, we think now on the long Scots miles, the mosses, water, slaps and styles that lie between us and our hame, where sits our sulky, sullen dame, gathering her brows like a gathering storm, nursing her wrath to keep it warm. This truth fand honest Tam O'Shanter, as he fra air I night did canter, all dear whom near a town surpasses for honest men and bony lasses. O oh, Tam, hadst thou but been so wise, as tain thy ain wife Kate's advice, she told thee well thou was a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken blellum, that fray November till October, I mark at night thou wasna sober, that Elka milled her with a miller, thou sat as lang as thou had siller, that every neg was cad a shoe on, the smith and thee got rowing and foo on, that at the Lord's house even on Sunday thou drank with curt and jean till Monday. She prophesied that late or soon thou wad be found deep drowned in dune, or catched with warlocks in the mark by Alloway's old haunted kirk. Ah, gentle dames, it guards me greet to think how mony counsel sweet, how mony lengthen sage advices the husband through the wife despises. But to her tale, I mark at night, Tam had got planted uncle right, fast by an ingle bleezing finely, where reamin sats that drank divinely, and at his elbow, suit her Johnny, his ancient trusty druthy crony. Tam loved him like a very brother, they'd been foo for weeks together. The night drave on we sangs and clatter, and I the ale was growing better. The landlady and Tam grew gracious, with favour secret, sweet and precious. The suitor told his queerest stories, the landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm without might rear and rustle, Tam did na mind the storm a whistle. Care, mad to see a man say happy, e'en drowned himself among the nappy. As bees flee him with lades of treasure, the minutes winged their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious, our all the ills of life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread. You seize the flower, its bloom is shed. Or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white, then melts forever. Or like the borealis race, that flit ere you can point its place. Or like the rainbow's lovely form, it vanishing amid the storm. Nay, man can tether time nor tide. The hour approaches, Tam mon ride. That hour o' night's black arch the keystain. That dreary hour he mounts his beast in. And sick a night he tacks a road in. As near poor sinner was a broad in. The wind blew toward blown its last. The rattling shower throws on the blast. The speedy gleams the darkness swallowed. Loud, deep and lang the thunder bellowed. That night a child might understand, the deal had business on his hand. Wheel mounted on his grey mare Meg, a better never lifted leg, Tam scalp it on through dub and mire, despising wind and rain and fire. Whilst holding fast his gib blue bonnet, whilst crooning o'er some old Scots sonnet, whilst glowering round with prudent cares lest bogles catch him unawares, Kirk Alloway was drawing nigh, where ghosts and hoolets nightly cry. By this time he was cross the ford, where in the snow the chapman snored, and past the burks and meekle stain, where drunken Charlie brack's neck bane, 
And throw the winds and by the cairn Where hunters fanned the murdered bairn And near the thorn aboon the well Where Mungo's mother hanged herself Before him doon pours all its floods The Dublin storm roars through the woods The lightnings flash from pole to pole Near and more near the thunders roll When glimmering through the groaning trees Carcalloway seemed in a bleeze through Elka bore the beams were glancing, and loud resounding mirth and dancing. Inspiring bold John Barleycorn, what dangers thou canst make us scorn. We tippany we fear no evil, we Ushka Bay will face the devil. The swat say reamed in Tammy's noddle, fair play, he cardna deals a bottle. But Maggie stood right sair astonished, till by the heel and hand admonished, she ventured forward on the light, and wow, Tam saw an uncle sign. Warlocks and witches in a dance, nae cotillon brent new frae France, but hornpipes, jigs, drifts, bays and reels, put life and metal in their heels. A winnock bunker in the east, there sat old nick and shape o' beast, a towsy tyke, black, grim and large. To gie the music was his charge, he'd screwed the pipes and gart them skirl, to roof and rafters a diddle. Coffins stood round like open presses that showed the deed in their last dresses, and by some devilish cantrape slight, each in its cold hand held a light by which heroic Tam was able to note upon the holy table. A murderer's banes and gibbet airns, twa span lang wee young christened bairns, a thief new cutted for a rape, wi' his last gasp his gab did gape. Five tomahawks with blood red rusted, five scimitars with murder crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a feather's throat had mangled, whom his ain son of life bereft, the grey hairs yet stuck to the heft. We made a horrible and awful, which even to name would be unlawful. Three lawyers' tongues turned inside out, we lies seemed like a beggar's clout, three priests' heart rotten. Black as muck, lay stinking vile in every nuke. As Tammy glowered amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew. The reel they set, they crossed, they cleek it, till Ilka Carlin swat and reek it, and cooked her duddies to the work, and link it at it in her sack. Now, Tam, oh Tam, had they been quines, all oh, plump and strapping in their teens, their starks, instead of creasy flaining, had been snow white seventeen hunter linen, their breeks o' oh, mine, my only pair, the ains were plush o' oh, gid blue hair, I would a gain them off my hurdies for a blink o' the bony birdies. But withered beldams old and droll, rig woody hags would spain a fall, Loupin' and flinging on a crummock, I wonder did I turn my stomach. But Tam kent what was foo brawly. There was a winsome wench in Wally that night enlisted in the core, lang after Kendum Carrick shore. For mony a beast to dead she shot, and perished mony a bony bow, and shook beth meekle corn and bear, and kept the countryside in fear. A cutty sark o' paisley horn, that while a lassie she had worn in longitude though sorely scanty, it was her best and she was vanty. Ah, little ken thy reverend granny, that suck she coughed for her wee nanny, with twa pun Scot, her only riches, wa dear grace da dance o' witches. But here my muse, her winged mong cower, Sick flights are near beyond her power To sing how nanny lap and flang A supple jade she was in strang And how Tam stood like ain bewitched And thought his very ain enriched Even Satan glowered and fidged it full fain And hoached and blew wi might and main Till first a caper sign and nether Tam tint his reason all the gather And roars out, well done, cutty sir! And in an instant, all was dark, 
and scarcely had he Maggie rallied when out the hellish legion sallied, as bees buzz out wi' angry fike, when plundering herds assail their bike and open pussies mortal floors, when pop she starts before their nose, as eager runs the market crowd, when catch the thief resounds aloud, so Maggie runs the witches follow, when Moni and Eldritch screech and hollow. Ah, Tam, ah, Tam, thou get thy fearing, and hell thou roast thee like a heron. In vain thy Kate awaits thy coming, Kate, soon be a woeful woman. Now do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the keystone of the brig. There at them thou tail may toss, a running stream they dare not cross. The ear the key stain she could make, the faint a tail she had to shake, for Nanny far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tam with furious ettle, but little wist she Maggie's mettle. A eh, spring brought off her master hail, but left behind her in grey tail, the carlin clawed her by the rump, and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. What this tale of truth shall read, Out man and mother's son take heed, we near to drink you are inclined, or cutty sarks run in your mind. Think ye may buy the joys, oh dear, remember Tam O'Shanter's mare. From Be Quiet Media, you've been listening to Scotland. This episode was a production of Tam O'Shanter by Robert Burns. It was read and sound designed by me, Michael Park, and the score was by the human quandary Mitch Bain. Thanks to Leanne Milne for her help in the production of this episode, and thanks to you for listening. Find out more about the show on our website, thisisscotland.co, and get in touch with any feedback you have for us on Twitter. We're at Be Quiet Media, or we're on Facebook if you search for Scotland Scottish History Podcast.